Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily use House Call Pro. I'm going to teach you how we can work with the whole program and I believe after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just easily add an email here. Start a free trial. Right here I'll just add a first name. Stone, phone number, and then I'm going to add a password like this. Start a free trial. When you're gonna add a first name, phone number, password, then you can easily log into your account. Business name, Sunway LC. Our business website, optional, I don't have a website. Click next. Let's add some more details about your business. What industry are you in? Let's say that I'm in home cleaning. You can choose your own field that you are in. Great, we have many businesses in your industry on the platform. What is the size of your company? Just me, two to five employees, six to nine, 10 plus. I'm going to do it just me. And now, excellent, we have helped many pros. And what are you most interested in today? And let's say that I want to go with the scheduling, uh, online booking, more customers and invoice. So what you are interested in. Click next. Okay, what's your business address? Texas, Houston. Click next. Or again, I can choose different one like this one here. This is just like tutorial how, we, how you actually do it. Now, when you're going to do it, let me show you how easy it is to create. I just want to explore. I'm going to teach you how you can do it. So when you enter House Call Pro, uh, the first thing is a dashboard. In a dashboard, you will be able to see literally everything here with upcoming jobs, open estimates, open invoices, paid invoices, two-day stats, jobs, jobs by tax, custom report. You can literally see so much and you can also add your own custom reports here. Uh, this is how the dashboard works. Oh, I'm going to create a customer and everything and then you will see a lot of things here. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a customer. But what you can do is if you if you would go to the right side, you can click here new and you can easily add a job, estimate, even customer straight away with a quick, quick guide here. So let's click customer. In customer, um, I have like create a customer here. What I can do is to add a new customer. And again, first name. I got automatically added here everything. So with first name, company, home phone, work phone, email, address. Uh, then you get like notes here that you can add. And this is how you can simply create a customer. When you have it, let's click here, create a customer. And it's going to load. And voila, here we have it. So in your customer, what you can do is to easily add a profile and add attachments here, auto invoice. Then you have options to add jobs and estimates. And you can easily on the right top, add a job or estimate directly to your customer or you can delete the customer. Uh, so this is how the custom works. In the schedule, you will be able to see uh, the jobs that you want to do. Then you have a map here in a map. Uh, you would see so let's say that i'm going to have work somewhere i would see right here so i can even like see between and switch between customers then you're gonna have like my apps here and now you can add and discover multiple applications my money when you would click on your my money let me show you you can connect your bank and then you have reporting here and that you can simply create a reporting and create your own uh, reports. What you can do now is go to top right to new and we can click here and create new job. So now 
let me show you how easy to create jobs let's do it simple customer click next now we schedule a day and time for the job so like it is here and i'm going to make it longer so again you can edit the uh, job when you're going to click on it start date and end date and you can have it for the client as a new job so you just add a start date, end date, start time and end time. And you can simply edit it by just moving the blue bar here. And you can also change it to month, etc. and click next. And then line items, services, quantity, unit price. So item na uh, name is going to be free hour clean. You can simply choose different one, 50 or 500. $50. You can add service item, materials item, discounts. Click next. And here we have it. So we have the John Doe, the customer, the schedule, the light item. And now what I'm going to do is click save job. And do you want us to send a sample text? You can send it and schedule a job. Not now. You can send it if you want to. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. And this is how we can find your job. So what we can see, uh, first job is created. Now on the left side customer, here you would see the schedule. Then we have like invoice here that is automatically created due upon receipt. Send invoice, view PDF, print invoice. I have the service here. I would have the material here if I have it. Then you have like subtotal, total, and then on the scroll down below, you would see activity feed right here. Now, when you have it, what you can do is to switch on my way. This will start trial duration tracking. Okay. And then you have like start. And you start working on it. And when I'm going to click schedule, I can, I will be seeing it right here. So I'm going to just today. Hoppa, go to month and I can see it right here to John Doe. Now what you can do is to create it by yourself again, plus your job and just add a pro mode or normal mode. This is the simple and is really straightforward. First, add a customer, Mark Stone, then schedule when it's going to happen. Let's say that I'm going to have it right here, but I'm going to have it to the, see it's forever. I mean all day uh, for 30 days, not forever. Use this time and from to you see the time change. Then you're going to see the light line items here. Uh, again, you just add a light item. Again, you add an item here cleaning and you see plenty of like hours clean uh, flat rate clean simply choose this depends of what segment you choose that you are in if you choose industry plumbing you would see different items here of course so that's how it works so I'm going to click I know home clean and quantity unit price again 100 you can add service item material Zoom items, discount, message, private notes, customer tax, job tax, photo attachments. Click here, save job. Right when you have it, uh, you can simply again on my way, etc. What you can do next is again click here, plus new, and add an estimate. And now again, I'm going to search customer. like this and customer tax estimate tax and uh, so this is the customer click enter and this is the estimate so again cleaning 20 dollars i would add materials here
cleaning item name would be cleaning then so this is how it would be and now what i would do is to schedule it and like here you can schedule, schedule it as much as you want right confirm click save and this is how you can simply create estimates and i would just see it in my schedule right here uh, then again i can click new and add an event and this is similar so even name uh, then i would just choose location here even notes and even name new event cleaning event now i would go to choose the location what it's going to be and even note and that's how would i do it right now let's schedule it now go back save and this is how you can create event then i would just click here in schedule and i would see everything here right see all events all literally everything in my schedule when i would come here to dash i would see everything so i got to see upcoming jobs open estimates then i see paid invoices today's stats jobs custom report sales leaderboards so everything that we created you can see right here and again as i mentioned when you would come here to my applications you can go to app store and again connect it with multiple integrations let's say zapier quickbooks etc which is pretty effective and that's pretty good then i can go also to account settings and i'll add employees here and edit also your information so add employee to go to right skip for now what's the employee's name employee next admin office staff field tech admin or office staff and you just uh, allow the permissions so let's say i'm going to admin online booking availability build pro network share jobs uh, office staff update company account info access marketing campaigns dispatch uh, messaging poc point of contact and then you have like field tech here and again show tech full schedule add edit jobs delete cancel jobs take pay payments see prices customer database etc click next next email password and save and send sms so yeah this is pretty much it how we do it and this is how we can easily add a password and how you can add employee in house call pro so thank you very much guys for watching if you have any questions ask me down in the comments uh, also you can set up the online booking the connect your bank add your prices so that's another thing what you can do you just easily checklist again you can add it here disabled you can enable it got it and now i would just make it active and as you can see i can see the checklist here the reviews the postcards if you want to i can make exp extensive uh, tutorial on how you can use the checklist job costing i'm going to teach you how you can use checklists like credit cards email automation uh, this would be like 25 minute tutorial or like 40 minute tutorial if i have to do literally everything so again checklist is simple type checkbox item is going to be clean room okay checklist name cleaning and click next private employee from being able to tap finish if they have not completed the checklist yes click save and now i can see that okay we got required edit i can just remove it or just add multiple items 
and that's pretty much it how we do it so cleaning and that's pretty much it so thank you very much guys for watching if you have any questions ask them down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya